Hatcher was built in 92. Okay. Yeah, and it was all built by volunteers, funded by volunteers. Uh, it took us about a year to build this place and then the first fish went in in 93. From the trout hatchery, we've put 1.7 million yearling fish into the lake, mixture of browns and rainbows. About uh, 60,000 browns and 60,000 yearling rainbows go in every year. And the browns are stocked into the lake from Point Clark right up to Pike Bay and a few over in Georgian Bay. The rainbows are uh, all stocked into the Saugeen River up around the Walkerton area. They imprint to the river, head out to the lake, and then return to the river. So in here right now, we have about uh, 58,000 brown trout that were hatched out in January, so they're seven months old. And we've got about 150,000 rainbows here that hatched out in around the end of April. The browns, the 90% of them will be planted around the end of October. They'll be uh, 10 months old. We'll keep about 8,000 over the winter time and release them next spring when they're uh, 18 month or 16 months old. The rainbows, they'll be all released next April. And they'll be 12 months old. We're just about to start moving fish from our fry tanks into our intermediate tanks. So if you come back in two weeks, all those small uh, intermediate tanks will be full of fish. Those are rainbows. There'd be uh -huh. approximately 40,000 fish in that tank. When did they hatch? Uh, well, we got the eggs the second week of April, and they hatched out about the first week of May. Three and a half months old? Yeah. Nice. As I say, we're, we're getting overcrowded for these tanks, so we'll move them right. over into the other. How big will they be when you release them? They'll be eight to ten inches long. Yearling fish. Uh, Weight-wise, about 75 grams mm -hmm. per fish, average weight. So we've got four tanks here. These are all rainbow tanks? These are all rainbows. Okay. All together we've got about 150,000 rainbows here. Hmm. In and these four we tanks? Have a, we have some yeah. surplus fish this year, uh, better than expected hatch, so we're going to be sharing some of these fish with one of our neighbor clubs up in Old Sound. Uh, they had trouble getting their rainbows this year. So there'd be approximately uh, 20, 000, or about 15,000 browns in there. As I say, those hatched out around the end of January. They're feisty. They, they're spooky. They are, they spook easy okay. compared to the rainbows. Like with us standing here, they wouldn't feed when the feeders go off or they'll skirt their shoe away from us. Hmm. The rainbows, they have different personalities all together. They don't care who's around or what's going on. They'll, uh, they'll feed or the, the fences around the top of the tanks. We don't need those for the browns, but for the rainbows, we don't put the fences up. They'll be flopping on the floor when we come in in the morning. They're jumpers. Yes. <laughs> These uh, cylinders hanging down on the tanks, those are our feeders. Just homemade feeders, they run on barbecue rotisserie motors. Okay. Uh, three volt uh, motors, DC, so that we have low voltage near the water. And they're on a timer circuit, whenever the timer goes off, it just spins the disc and knocks okay. the feed into the water for the fish. Wow. They're fed from meat in the morning till eight at night, once per hour. Good deal. How do you fund the hatcheries? Hatcheries, well, we get a, a very token uh, donation from the Ministry of Natural Resources. The rest are funds we raise ourselves. Chantry Chinook Classics is the biggest fundraiser. Every dollar of profit from the Chantry goes back into these hatcheries to put fish back into the lake. Uh, we have some other fundraisings. We have a big fish fry that's coming up in the harbor here uh, next or this weekend. We're hoping to raise some money there. Uh, we have 50-50 draw tickets that we sell. Uh, we look for grants whenever we, wherever we can find them. Uh, there's some boat docks in behind the hatchery here that we rent out to uh, raise money for the hatcheries. Perfect. So We spend as much time and effort raising the money to go into the hatcheries as we do putting into the raise, raising the fish themselves. You have so. a heavy volunteer work load. It's a heavy volunteer, yeah. yeah. But we are fortunate, we have an excellent club. People want to get involved. 
Uh, we've got 350 members in the Lake Huron Fishing Club. Everybody gets involved in some aspect of the of the club fundraising or raising fish or doing stream work or uh, some of our various other projects that we do. So. Perfect.